Hello everyone, I'm Rosina Amoli from Fellowship Mission School. In this video, we'll cover the topic re-indexing and altering tables, which has following these three functions, rename, re-index and re-index like. So in this video, in detail, we will cover these three topics. Now in this slide, we will see what is the use of this three function. Now first is your rename. It simply renames the index and or column label in a data frame. Ek data frame mein agar mujhe koi index ya column ka label that is column ka name ya index ka name change karna hai. Then I can use rename. Okay. It will just rename that is it will give another name to the column or the rows. Next is your index. It helps to specify new order of by reordering records to display existing index and column label. Re-index means what? If I want to re-index, if I want second column first place pe chahiye and first column last place pe chahiye. So I can reorder my indexes or my column labels with the help of re-index function. Next is your re-index like. It is used to create indexes or column labels based on the other data frame object. Dusra koi data frame hai. I have two data frames and I want second data frame ka label or the column should be as the first data frame. Okay, so using re-index like function, I can create indexes of other data frame to the existing data frame. Okay, so one by one we will see the working of these three functions. So here we will see the program. Now first I'm going to import a library that is pandas. And this I'm going to create a dictionary. My dictionary has four keys and four values. Now this dictionary I'm going to convert it into data frame. So df equals to pd.dataframe r. R is what? R is nothing but your dictionary. When I'm going to convert this dictionary into data frame, I'm going to specify index. It means my first index, my first row will be termed as s1 and my second row will be termed as s2. Then I'm going to print the data frame. Okay, now here you can see I'm using rename two times. One is rename columns and one is rename index. Now, what are my columns? My columns are name, phys, PHY, CHEN and maths. So this name should be renamed as student underscore name. PHY should be renamed as physics. CHEN should be replaced by or renamed by chemistry. And math should be same that is math. In place equals to true means what? In place that is where this chemistry, where this physics, this name should be on the same place itself. It should not create another space for that. Now similarly, I'm going to rename the index. Index kya thai mere? S1 and S2. So I'm going to replace or I'm going to rename S1 by student 1 and I'm going to replace S2 by student 2. If I'm not writing in place equals to 2, by default it will change the place. So I need to specify in place equals to true. Now next line is print your df. Okay, so my renamed wala df that is rename. So my renamed df will be printed. Now we will run the program and see. So here is my output. You can see over here. I had this dictionary. See, there are four columns named PHY, CHEM and maths. And there are two index S1 and S2. So S1 and S2. After renaming, you can see this is the output after renaming. This name should convert in student name. So this name is replaced or renamed by student name. PHY is renamed by physics. CHEM is renamed by chemistry. And maths is as it is. And here index also you can see S1 is renamed by student 1. And S2 is renamed by stu2. Okay, so clear what is the use of rename? Rename is just used to rename your column or your indexes. Now the same example we will see again. Now here is the same example. Now here instead of using two times rename, I'm going to use single time rename. So here you can see what I'm going to do is same coding. Okay, rename. My first parameter is column. My column should be renamed like this. And my second parameter is index. That is my index should be renamed like this. 
in place equals to true print df now i will run the program the output will be same okay now here in the output you can see my output is same this is my dictionary or my data frame and this is the changed value or you can say renamed value it means rename can work individually if i want to only change or if i want to only rename columns then i can only rename columns if i want to only rename index then i can only rename index and if i want to rename both columns and index okay then i can rename both of the things together in different parameters now next is your reindex same program i'm going to use pandas library i'm going to create dictionary same dictionary i'm going to give s1 and s2 as name of my indexes now your print original original means what this data frame this dictionary has to be printed next is slash n that is new line change one reindex in bracket index equals to s2 comma s1 is ka matlab s2 pehle display hona chahiye and s1 baad mein display hona chahiye so i will run the program now here you can see the original data frame what is my original data frame s1 raj the marks and s2 maya after changing that is after reindexing you can see s2 pehle aa gaya hai here s2 was second now here reindexing say s2 pehle aa gaya hai and second is your s1 this way i can reindex that is i can reorder my columns otherwise my rows okay now last is your rename index like now here i'm going to create two dictionaries one is r1 and one is r2 r1 is having three columns i'm going to print that dictionary using data frame okay and i'm going to give index name as s1 and s2 then print data frame that is df1 this data frame will be printed then r2 is my another dictionary with this values df2 that is my data frame 2 and my data frame 2 will be printed over here so here df2 dot reindex like df1 so it means that df2 should be reindex or the name of the index should be as df1 so this means that if we have if we already have a data frame and we want to create one more data frame with same values but change in the name of the column or change in the name of the index label then we can use reindex like function now here we can see this is my data frame 1 and this is my data frame 2 okay now according to this statement df2 dot reindex df1 iska matlab the new data frame will be your df2 so this accounts should be reindexed by physics so here in the output you can see physics eco should be renamed by chemistry so here is chemistry and this two subjects are same so this is going to be maths that is the same it's going to be displayed now it comes to value iske andar value kya hone chahiye now it comes to the value of data frame for data values only data frame 2 will be seen firstly data frame 2 columns will be seen first of all there is no column name like acc so here it will show as nan not a value second is eco again okay, economics is not here so it will show nan but here there is maths and here there is maths so this subject is common in both the data frame but the value will be displayed from data frame 2 so here 67 and 78 so clear how reindex like method works reindex like method is nothing but dono data frame ko compare karenge jo column same rahega wo value extract hoke naya data frame banega so here we end with this chapter i hope this video will be helpful for you for understanding reindexing and altering your table here is the quick recap to the content of the chapter first you have seen what is pandas and in pandas there are two data structures which we are going to go through one is data frame and one is series then next we have seen that is attributes of data frame this all what the attributes of data frame index column access d types size shape values empty nd next we have seen descriptive statistic 
in descriptive statistic many functions we have seen minimum maximum mean mode median variance standard deviation count sum and lastly is your mad mad is your mean absolute deviation then next was your advanced operations in advanced operations three operations we have seen pivoting sorting and aggregation in pivoting there were two methods one is pivot and one was pivot table okay there was some limitation with pivot so the next function was the pivot table the next is your sorting for sorting we are going to use sort underscore values function aggregation there are many functions related to aggregation that is mean max mean median where std count sum and mad function application in function applications there are four function application first was pipe then apply apply map and group by next the last topic was reindexing and altering table in that there were three functions rename reindex and reindex like that's all i hope this chapter is clear to you all and this videos will help you to revise the topic again and again thank you